Hi, in this particular video we are going to look forward in what is called a wave phase. Now wave phase, the phase specifies the location of a point within a wave cycle. We, are, uh, we will clear up more this concept. See this is a nice transverse waves and we have point kept up certain points in here. Now as we have defined that it should be at the same place and doing the same thing. Now if I take an example of this point, say for example if it is point number A and we are trying to tell that which point, which other points are in phase with A. Obviously B is not because B is at the crest, C is it D. Now if we consider this point D, we will see that it is not in phase. The reason is that A is going a little bit up, D is going down. So if it is not the obviously it won't be this, this is a trough. So what we get is this point. This is the point G. Now what we can write, although this is not a rigid definition to write, so we can say A and D are not in phase. A and D are not in phase, whereas A and G are in phase. A and G are in phase. Now what about B and I? So B, say for example B. Now B is in phase obviously with only I. And it is the easiest thing to do because it is right on the crest. It is obviously not in phase with any D, E, G, J, K, all these points. B is always in phase with I. So we can write this like B and I are always in phase. What about C? Now if you consider this point C, then we get two options. One is H, another one is G. But H, is it in phase? No, because this is going up and C is a point when it is going down. So C and J are in phase. So we can write that C and H are not in phase, whereas C and J are in phase. Quite a simple thing in order to find out what is in phase or what is out of phase. So taking this definition, what is in phase and out of phase, what we can tell, as we have told earlier that wavelength, what we have found that two points on the wave which has at the same wave at the same point, uh, alternatively we can say that uh, wavelength is equal to the distance between two cons consecutive locations, two consecutive locations which are in phase. See A is in phase with G, so this is the wavelength. Now if we want to say, for example, we will take a, another example, we, we, we draw another wavelength, say for example this one, a nice transverse wave, we draw it in this way. And we mention few points, we mention few points, for example we mention A over here, we mention B over here, we mention C over here, and we mention E over here, and we mention D over here, I missed the D one. So now if you want to say that A and B, these two points, A and B, obviously, this point A and this point B, they are not in phase. But if you want to know that it is how much out of phase, if it is not in phase, it should be out of phase. But what would be, uh, how much A and B is out of phase? So we take the total wavelength, we define W, say for example, is 360 degrees, or we can tell it 2 pi, either way. And if we want to say A and B are not in phase, then how much? Now consider this part from here to here, this is the entire wavelength, right? This is the entire wavelength as we have seen. So you see A and G, we are drawing up to G, so we define in here not G, this part. So this is the wavelength, right? Now if this is the wavelength up to this part, it is a half of the wavelength. This is, this is the full wavelength, so this is half of lambda, right? And if you drop a perpendicular over here, this is one-fourth. So A and B, if I want to say that it is one-fourth of 360 degrees, so it is 90 degrees out of phase, right? So we can tell that A and B is 90 degrees out of phase. This is the way in which we can find out how much it is out of phase. So A and B, A and B is 90 degrees out of phase. Now what about A and C? A and C, obviously this is not in phase. Again in order to find out how much it is of phase, they are the crest and the trough. So this is C, which is a trough, A, which is, which is, uh, this is a crest, and A, which is the, uh, which is the crest, and this is the trough, I'm so sorry. This is the crest, and this is the sub. So they are the crest and the sub. So this is whole half of a wavelength. 
This is whole half of a wavelength. So we know that wavelength is 360 degrees. So half of the wavelength would be half of 360 degrees. And it would be 180 degrees. So we can tell in this calculation what we have drawn over here is that A and B are out of phase of 90 degrees which we calculate as if this one is full 360 this one is half and this is one fourth so it is 90 degrees if you take A and C then it is one full wavelength and it is a half of that because it is just at the top that is it is the crest and the trough so we take the entire half of that this is half of that so it is so we can say A and C A and C are out of phase by 180 degrees so isn't it a wonderful tool so in this way if we want to really find out what is the crest and the trough and how far these points are out of phase or not so we can summarize in this way wave phase is basically what we have learned that phase specifies the location of a point within the cycle so if you want to find out which point is in phase with that we have to denote two important things it should be at the same place at the same thing we have seen a and d are not in phase but a and g are in phase although it seems similar but it's going up it is going up c and h are not in phase c and h are not in phase and c and j are in phase because c and j this is going up this is going up in this particular example we want to find it out that which uh, particular point is how much out of phase so with this this nice calculations assuming that the total wavelength is 360 degrees and this is one fourth and this is half because this is the crest and the trough so this actually shows what is wave phase and how we can find out the different points whether they are in phase or not thank you very much for watching